So I don't really play a lot of rhythm games on my cello, purely because like it's not my preferred genre, but every once in a while like one, two songs I play like, I don't know, once a week or something. Yesterday I saw there was an update to Synth Riders and it kind of interested me because it was like a unique take on the multiplayer player it's basically like an arcade power up mechanics that you kind of make for other players harder to pass the level or like make yourself easier i'm not sure that kind of like interested me because synth riders was always the game that kind of introduced new mechanics and then everyone else copied that <laughs> so we'll see hopefully there are people who actually like play at all oh here we go three people okay Okay, I set up on push to talk, so <laughs> I'm not gonna talk <laughs> and then everyone else like listens. Okay, so that's fine then. They're still in the game, so I'll just wait for them. But yeah, Symphony for me was always kind of like the rhythm game of kind of like dancing. Flowy or more like dynamic than, for example, Beat Saber, which is like just single notes hitting. And Synchrap Riders is more likely just like, you know, just kind of waving. Welcome, Dave, the Psycho and Mills. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that people are playing this game. I mean, normally I don't see people, but like at the same time I don't play room games nowadays. So I'm just like seeing what's up with this update. Fuck, he turned up a difficulty master. I think <laughs> this is too too hard, so we'll see. I just want to see the update, that's pretty much it. So let's start. Okay, it, I don't... Okay, well, let's... A bit hard, okay. I'll focus then. Wait, I don't think there are power ups here in this uh, room. Oh, okay, he disabled everything. Shit, okay. I'm pretty sure because he just wanted to play casually, but I wanted to check out the update though, so. I don't really know how to like turn them on. I'm not even sure if it's like working. Oh, here is the fucking button. Jesus, okay. I'm gonna play alone. Let's see what's up. <laughs> For a fucking alone playing Gregor. <laughs> oh, here it was. Oh, okay. So they're like randomly on the stage then. They're kind of rare. I just encountered one in like. One minute? I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's the next one. And begin. It's the same that uh, we got. Uh, whoa, what the hell happened? <laughs> oh, I see one. Invaders. Huh? It's the same animation. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I think it does different things uh, because the description is different, but like. The animation is the same for some reason. Another one. Nim minimize notes. Dude, I feel like casting animation is the same. And it does for like other kind of people, I assume, something. But then you have to know through the description what it does essentially. Because from the visuals, you can't really tell <laughs> the difference. Another one. Score multiplayer. Okay, I mean, th this one is uh, like obvious. <laughs> Another one. Invader as well. I wouldn't know what's happening. <laughs> Another one. Prismatic. <laughs> Dude, animations, come on. <sighs> that was. Uh, I mean, because I'm playing alone, I can't really tell the effects and stuff. The power ups are too rare. I feel like it should either scale that they're more frequently with the higher difficulty or like the longer the song, the more there are. I guess it's because the design kind of choice was there. Everything has the same visual effect and it does different things. But then you don't see other players, you know, playing beside you. Unlike in Beat Saber, for example, in multiplayer. So you have to kind of like trust your gut and know what power up it does and then kind of use it. But I wish every power up would have different visual. That just makes sense for, to me. Good game. Wait a minute, there's a floating... What the hell? Wait, there are actual people here. <laughs> I didn't notice it. Hi. They're not playing with power-ups, so I can't really check it out. I guess it has to suffice uh, for that. 
but yeah, I mean, I don't really need to kind of check it out with other people. It seems like there are kind of like, you know, nodes on the map and then you kind of like, you know, activate the power up to kind of like make it work. I wish there would be some different visuals because I don't want to say that it's lazy to pick one visual for every power up, but it just makes sense to have variety. That's pretty much it, you know. Other than that, the concept itself is it's cool because it kind of like brings more versatility in multiplayer, which is always good, like mixing up kind of the gameplay. Nevertheless, Sync Riders was always but the pioneers of new things, so I'm not surprised that they bring something new. Now let's see if someone else copies it. 